Boy, oh boy, I got a surprise for you guys. Check this out. So this is a really cool little scooter that's a lot like the choppers that I built. So naturally, there is something that's gonna happen to it. <laughs> it is gonna be awesome. Look at this. Carburetors are already on, looking pretty. That chain, once I get this thing lined up, right there, yeah, scooch it over there. Do take a look at that. And it's gonna line up so perfect. Even better. This plate right here, I got a couple mounting screws. I'm gonna use a nice metal plate underneath this because this is plastic. Obviously, I'm not gonna mount to plastic. I'm gonna put a nice metal plate underneath here. It's even got two bars there on the bottom, so that plate's just gonna sit right there. It's gonna be nice. But man, this is gonna be a cool setup. By the time I'm done, the reason why I'm using the three horsepower, not like a six and a half, is I want it to take off smooth and not pop wheelies and burn the tires off right away, especially with the tiny wheels and stuff in the back. I'm gonna use a motorized bike sprocket for the rear. I'll use brakes for the front. I'm gonna set up disc brakes. These hubs are really easy to drill through. Like I had shown in my previous um, Schwinn Stingray chopper build, I was able to add brakes to the front. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one and add disc brakes. So I'll have better braking and stuff like that. I'm actually doing it smart. Now, the other cool thing is I have a tank from this i was going to use on a different machine i'm just going to throw the tank back on this because the tank will sit right on top be perfect it'll all be one unit won't have to do anything other than add a throttle which is very easy again i'll just run the line down it'll come down here come back up go right into the top of my carburetor and i'll have a nice throttle control so this whole thing Basically, cost next to nothing other than just buying the scooter. Um, also, this doubles as a brake. That's why it's loose like this. Um, the first time I stepped on it, I was like, oh, it's just like a Razor scooter. You can step on it and use it as a brake against the tire. It is set up to do that. Um, so it's kind of funny. I was like, wow, that's interesting. They really did think of that. And you can tell, like, it's flat underneath it. This piece is not going into the tire or anything like that they have a backing plate on the bottom so it is actually meant to be a secondary brake it does have one but um i'm not going to be keeping that one i'm going to be doing a disc brake up front or uh or possibly a disc brake back here just depends on which wheel is going to mount better and and um and be more um able to take the caliper and you know not mess anything up so but anyways gotta get all this together and start getting this uh, uh, runnable. And man, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so cool. And check this out. Your feet are either gonna be right here or here, which is a little more comfortable. I set up the bars, so I got plenty of room. Got plenty of steering, and I'll be able to lean. It'll be like a, like a snowboard or a skateboard that's able to do like 30, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think this is going to be my riding position. Although, you can ride it like this too. And it's pretty comfortable. Even with your toes over the side. It's, I'm comfortable. I'm stable. I can lean into corners. So, it's, uh, it's going to be a nice riding bike when I'm done. So, this is the first stage. I'll see you in the next couple when the motor's on and running. <laughs>